It is crucial that people who develop and deploy AI in a higher education understand it sufficiently well to ask relevant questions and ensure that the datafication of higher education doesn't prevent students from making important choices about their lives. Um, so let's start with enhancing learning and teaching. AI has the potential to increase, to improve the quality of education. It can help create um, personalized learning experiences. Students can learn at their own pace, focusing on their strengths or their weaknesses, um, st stuff they struggle with. Um, it can also be used to contribute positively to the student's teacher's relationship. There are some educators who um, report that they use data analytics to reach out to students uh, that are subtly um, disengaging from the classes. Um, but it is far from guaranteed. These positive impacts are far from guaranteed. Even though AI promoters say that um, personalized learning increases the retention of information, there, are, there isn't a lot of data that support that claim. Oftentimes, ed tech um, looks like modern snake, snake oil. And modern snake oil can have real negative impacts. Uh, the datification of students' life can discourage them from engaging in meaningful, formative experiences. Um, and it's especially worrisome when we know that um, the da data starts being collected as early on primary level and then continue following them through high school and university. Um, some students, for instance, can refrain from writing essay about controversial topics out of fear of that it might limit uh, future opportunities. Um, so they, they avoid learning the, the, the formative experience of engaging with difficult ideas, with challenging ideas. Um, college students can refuse an invitation to go to the bar on a Monday night because geolocation data can be used uh, to predict their likelihood of success as, at at school of, or pre predict if they're at risk of dropping out and this, it can influence their admission to grad school or their scholarship application. Uh, again, we're preventing people to engaging in meaningful uh, formative in experiences. Remember what, where, when you were in college, these are things that promote, increase human flourishing. Um, and what if immigration officer can access uh, immigrant student classes attendance data, for instance. Is it really what we want for higher education? Is it really fully promoting the full, full development of the human personality as international human rights law says it should? I don't know, I don't know. But these are questions we ought to be asking.